I want to lose weight because when I was pregnant of my my daughter Bexida, she I had it um, with her diabetes. So uh, the doctor told me that I have to eat healthy, do exercise. Mayra Rodriguez lives in the center of the Iron Triangle neighborhood, raising three children on her own. Her husband was recently deported to Mexico. No, Sullivan, Sullivan. Like right now I'm struggling a lot because he's not here. And when he was here, he he used to work and he, with my money, his money, we, we would buy the things together. The Iron Triangle is infamous for its high crime rate, yet one of the most personally devastating problems is the high rates of obesity in this neighborhood. Along with that comes diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, some forms of cancer, and other chronic diseases. Jan Schilling is a nutritionist and part of the HEAL program, which focuses on bringing affordable, healthy eating and active living to low-income and at-risk communities. When you've got the fast food industry that's selling big whoppers uh, at uh, low prices and, uh, you know, parents are busy and sometimes they like to go out to eat and the, and they will choose those great big whoppers, uh, some of which are close to 2,000 calories themselves, which is 2,000 calories is about what an average woman should eat every day. We are in a limited income area, and so they may not be able to afford the wide 24-hour fitness school gym or, uh, or curves. This is one way to combat obesity, an experiment, one of six taking place in low-income cities and neighborhoods across Northern California. Because when we in the, our apartment, they think about their dad and um, they want him to come back and they get stressed out. So what I do, I just come to the park and let them, you know, stress out themselves. And they like to come here and they love to play. Ready. Oh, okay. Hold on. Stop watch. Set. The Go. program sponsored by Kaiser allows parents like Mayra to take her children to the neighborhood park, just three blocks away from her home. It looks like just play, but has been carefully designed to teach the kids about healthy eating and living while still having fun. They can show them how to eat healthy and be healthy so they cannot be overweight. Gonzalo, so your last score was 25.43. That's what you're going to try to be. You need to get rid of those in your mouth first. Good job and weave, weave around, jump over and straddle. They get a pretty good workout. We do everything from push-ups to pull-ups. We use all the equipment on the monkey bars. Um, we run, they do uh, track and drill skills. So they get basically everything that they need. This is a good program for our area and our kids need it. Not only do they offer obesity prevention for the kids, but the program called HEAL, Healthy Eating Active Living, recently introduced Way of Life to the Nevin Community Center for the adults. While the children play, the moms get a great workout. And they, they take care, their daycare provided for the parents that bring their babies, and they take care of the babies while the moms are doing the exercise. And that's a good, like, that's a good moment for me by myself. It's, uh, now I can get strong and play with my kids. I don't want to be overweight. You know, what we really want is for kids to be nurtured and, um, and obtain the very best kinds of health habits that they can so that their brains work well in school. But what happens if low-income communities don't have access to these kinds of resources or don't even feel safe going to their own neighborhood park? This particular park um, is uh, just a couple blocks off 23rd Street, which has a long history of uh, having a high prostitution rate. We're, we're, we're most certainly not sitting on our heels watching the world go by. We're, we're very active and aggressive towards improving our parks. Find out next about new studies showing the direct relationship between poor park conditions, violence and high obesity rates, and more importantly, exactly what Richmond is doing about it.